practical thing if we're going to actually focus on calculating the B0, the B1, the B2, etc. This gives you an example of what it might look like with two variables, x1 and x2, and a third variable in the third dimension, maybe physically like in outer space, you know, in space. Um, but of course, when you go beyond three variables or beyond two x's, you can't even make a picture. And the b1 and the b2 are slopes, but what do we call that? Now, remember, the, if you take a straight line, which is in two dimensions, and you try to extend it into three dimensions, what do you get? You get a plane, right? If you remember, that's a plane. So you learned this stuff in linear algebra, I think. And this plane, you see that green, that, that turquoise thing, has a um, two orientations, an angle here, an angle here. They're two different, those are the two slopes. And the intercept, of course, is where it cuts across the y-axis. And again, you can't visualize that in more than two dimensions. Um, what do we see here? Two variables. So this is an example we're going to follow through, I guess, for the next few uh, slides. Yeah, you were trying to predict pie sales based on the price and based on the amount of advertising. So the x1 and x2 are advertising and price, and the, and the y variable is the, the amount of sales. And they give you the data. And they give you, in that green box, they give you the actual basic equation that you can predict somebody's sales. That's why this little thing on top of the sales, that little hat, like the Y hat, is equal to B0 plus B1 times the price plus B2. And you can sort of see, imagine, that might be true in real life. That's the, the higher the price. What do you think B1 is going to be, a negative number or a positive number? Will B1 be a positive or a negative number? Yeah. Why? No, but it's price. The, the higher the price, the more sales or the less sales. You know, you may, you know, you know, I would imagine that the, you know, remember the price, the, the high, you know, supply and demand, the higher the price. You know, the, what's that equation with the famous economic equation? Um, the higher the price, the lower the sales. And other hand, Mark, you know, I see a point. You might be right because the, if you if you charge more, you're going to be making more money because if, if you charge a thousand dollars and you sell three of them, but the point is you'd be charging. It's not clear. I mean, it's clearly advertised. The more you advertise, the more the, the more the sales are going to be. I, oh, you know, you know what the, the, the question is, oh, Marco, are we talking about the total amount of sales? Um, the pri in other words, the price, hmm. You, you, now, you, now you see, I, I see a point. The point is you really can't tell. You're right. If the price is really high, then you're getting a lot of money coming in. You may be selling less than them, but you're getting a lot of money coming in. It's like, like, like you charge a lot. Of, but if you charge, we'll see. But the point is it's not, it's not clear uh, what it's going to be positive. But it probably will be negative, but you can't tell for sure. Anyway, here's the, ex here's the Excel printout. Now, I hope if someone, uh, by now you guys know how to do, basically highlight the columns. When you're doing multiple regression, you basically highlight the X columns, both of them at the same time, or three of them, if there are three of them in the example. And basically, you tell the computer all the Xs. And... Uh, when your wall is finished, you get the same kind of printout that we talked about a few minutes ago on the piece of paper. But your job is to figure out the B0, the B1, and the B2, and you get that from the coefficients. In other words, the very first column on the left side, which is, I guess, right here, uh, the B0 is the 306. The B1, which is the number opposite the price, which turned out to be negative, minus 20. Other words, the more you're charging, the less money you're going to make. Uh, and the advertising is positive. So once you have that equation, the, next, the very first thing you're going to see on the test will be a, a printout. The next thing you'll say, write out the equation. And that's the top of the thing in, 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 uh, right over here. Just write out the equation. The third thing you'll be asked to, okay, uh, make believe the price is 25 cents and the advertising is $500. What would you expect the sales to be? Simply plug it in and multiply it and add it. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, so that takes care of the first two objectives. Yes? Uh, um, Brian, close it off for a second. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Leave it, leave it on. I'm sorry. What was your question? You make up what numbers? No, no, I'm going to tell you, like on the test a dozen times already, I'll tell you x1 is equal to 10 and x2 is equal to 25. Make a forecast. I'll tell you the number. Okay. Yes, Alex. So, okay, hey, what'd you say? The yeah, the B0 is the number, is the intercept, it's the coefficient of the number 306.5. Yeah, right, right here. Yeah, yeah. You just you simply read them off. Like, just like you did in chapter 13. Yes, Marco? Yeah. So you're going to provide us with this? I'm going to provide you with a list of data just to show, sort of have a more visualization. Then I'll provide you with a printout like that. Now, you said chapter 14 is two-thirds of the examples. Chapter 16, which we'll do on Friday. OK, uh, then we have. This, is, this happens to be an example of a different computer program that we used to use called multi, multi, uh, Minitab. 
Uh, this is the equation. Oh, here's the, here's the part that I told you about. Let's say make believe. It tells you the interpretation of the, and by the way, these slides are available for you online if you are, and give them to you if they're not available. But um, this tells you the interpretation of the, the slope and the intercept. Okay, and you might want to check, the, the book has this also in the first couple, what is the, and that's gonna definitely be a question on, like it was in a previous test, interpret to be zero and interpret to be one. In this case, you gotta interpret also to be two. And these are the interpretations, um, which again, I'll make available to you if you can't copy them down, but they're also found in the book itself. Um, Here's a, the second objective that I mentioned to you that to make it to make a specific prediction. When you, let's say make believe the advertising the price is five dollars and fifty cents, the advertising is three fifty. You plug it in and you get your answer. Now notice that you're plugging in for three point five instead of three hundred and fifty, because I guess all the original the original problem, the numbers over here were in hundreds of dollars. You see the advertising, so it's really it was three point three meaning three hundred and thirty dollars. This is three hundred dollars, etc. So that's just to be, you gotta be careful about the units to make the simple forecast. This is not, we're not gonna be doing, we're not doing this. Not, this is telling you how to do this stuff in Minitab or, or Excel. Um, this is cool, okay, now we're gonna talk about the coefficient of multiple determination. Okay. <laughs>